the first one is really being driven from a, an automation perspective. And that is one of the issues you have is we were talking about all blocker and how it can automatically block out a blast. Um, this particular customer wants to block out a whole bench at a time. So as, as Heath was talking about to uh, do RC drilling, get ahead of the game, and then actually block out an entire bench. And the reason for that is a, traditionally blast design doesn't take in geology into consideration. So quite often what you can do is you can end up diluting high grade ore because of the poor mine design or blast design, I should say. Whereas if you block out an entire bench, it allows you to look at the grade blocks that have been generated during that process, design your blast around it, and then later on re-optimize again when, when you actually come to block out that blast. So one of the reasons um, model manage is important in that scenario is you've got to be able to extract all the block model cells for that particular bench from potentially a very large block model. And in a traditional database, that is problematic because they just run too slowly. Whereas the technology that Model Manage is based on allows us to retrieve the data quickly and optimize quickly. Another aspect of this problem is, is that the models are generated in general mine planning packages. They're generated in a data mine or a, or a Vulkan, a desktop ac application, and they exist as proprietary format binary files. Our Model Manager solution breaks that paradigm because it's, it doesn't care what mine planning package you use, it doesn't care where the model comes from. You know, part of the process is set up a format, import the data, and now it's in a database that is accessible from any sort of tool that you want to use to look at that information. That's a real key um, advantage. And then just picking up on that, the um, so as Heath mentioned earlier, obviously it's important for clients because they're doing a lot of work in the data science and machine learning space, so that data is accessible. Also from a business intelligence perspective, you can use business intelligence tools to tap into that data. But one of the points we're making is traditional relational databases have never been able to handle this volume of data. Um, you know, they're not used to having a single block of data, as it were, that's 500 gigabytes or a terabyte in size. So model manage is based on very specific analytic technology that allows it to deal with block models with hundreds or thousands of attributes and millions or billions of records.